Hey guys, and um, wanted to come back to you with an update on what's been going on since, you know, all of this red that's been going on, which has primarily been because of Bitcoin, right? So we know that still a lot of the market, most of the market is really tied to Bitcoin's action. Once Bitcoin is, is going up, um, obviously the rest of the market is going up. However, for all coin season to really take place, we need Bitcoin to cool off. When Bitcoin truly does cool off and start to get some good sideways movement, that's usually when all coins really take off. However, let's go ahead and take a look at XRP. So, um, as you can see, once again from my previous videos, we broke out from this major resistance area that we had been under for like three years and that was so significant that we went from 84 cents all the way up to a dollar 95 i mean practically 150 percent and usually for these major run-ups you normally will get at least a 50 percent retracement right at least a 50 percent retracement so if we calculate how far we've come down here look at this this is 40.7 percent Right, so this was 40.7% over the last two weeks. So guys, we just have to remember that um, nothing goes up forever and nothing just goes up in a straight line, okay? Especially on our journey back up to its all-time high. Um, and in my previous videos, I did say that we could look for um, a rejection and a retracement down to Fibonacci levels, which is where we're at right now. As you can see, twice we've tried to break through here, but we've met some support, and we've met support over here on these candles, right, which were resistance before. It's going to be pretty important for us to try to hold on um, to this level of support, because if we break that, um, which I also said in my last video, we could still see a potential run back down to 88 cents. We could we could see it as low as that. I mean, somewhere between 90 cents and a dollar. We could see us retest that before we come back up. But like I said, the point is is that the the worst is really over, which was this area. It was getting over this area, and in the last bull run. I mean, XRP shot up 200%, and then it basically did a sideways consolidation for about somewhere between four or five weeks, I believe. Um, it was a while. It was a while. It was a while that it, that it did a major consolidation um, at like, I think it was around 75 cents or something. Seemed like forever. But anyway... Um, guys, in terms of this consolidation, once again, nothing abnormal whatsoever about this, even if we can't came back down, because normally when you break through, normally when you break through major resistance, it's good to see it come back down and confirm support above that level. And to be honest, we have never, we haven't truly done that properly, right? Well, not on the weekly. On the daily, we did do that. Right, we confirm support here and here for two days, so that was very good. And of course, we zoom in on the smaller time frames. We can see now on the daily, we are really fighting to keep support, and it would be really, really good for a strong move up again to the next Fibonacci level at a minimum. It would be really good for us to maintain support here above this Fibonacci level. I mean, look at how these lines line up. You know, I didn't look at this chart and then draw the lines afterwards. I zoomed out on the weekly before this candle even ever took place. And I drew the Fibonacci down here, right? So to see how it's really interacting and really obeying this line is, um, it's good stuff, right? We can see it on the four hour now. We, we've gotten above this line and now we're trying to hold support. If we can hold support 
um, long enough for the bulls to kind of get back into the game and we can start to push back up then let's see where we are in the RSI so you know we were we were just down here on the RSI in terms of being oversold so normally whenever we get this low I mean we can see the last time XRP went this low we were all the way down at 50 cents and eventually we went as high as over here which was a dollar fifty a dollar eleven which was over a hundred percent over a hundred percent from here would be two dollars and sixty cents right if we could if we can really uh, if we counted from from here dollar eighteen about two forty right around two forty or so so let's also see where the next Fibonacci level is the next Fibonacci level is at two dollars and fifty cents but I would think I think we're gonna push up through that and we're gonna come up here because this is a significant level right here two dollars and seventy five cents two dollars and seventy five cents would be the next level that we want to break through and head up to okay and it's going to happen guys it doesn't happen uh, might not be happening as fast as you want but like I said based on the patience that the XRP um, the XRP community has had to endure all of this time for three years believe me waiting over the next few weeks now will seem like nothing so um, everything will be okay I just wanted to give this particular update on XRP and another important thing to look at is not just the XRP USD but you have to check out the BTC levels so with XRP Bitcoin I just drew a Fibonacci based on the last major run-up that we had this was actually during the time that we went to 75 cents but in BTC we actually went um, same thing about a hundred and over hundred and fifty percent now I drew the Fibonacci on that and this is a huge W that we have so here's my target coming out of that W which is up here at 3600 Satoshis okay that's my target coming out of this breakout and as you can see we went to the 6.8 here and a healthy retracement back down to Fibonacci levels we've come here and we've held support that again very important it's a good sign it's a healthy sign once we can hold support above here then there's no reason why why in XRP BTC amounts we shouldn't head back up here which we'd be looking at almost another hundred percent again in BTC profits which is very important ultimately we know Bitcoin is going to go up even though it has a short-term dip Bitcoin always goes up so taking your profits in BTC is basically making money on top of money alright guys so until next time hope you enjoyed this analysis and uh, hang tight it'll be alright